If we lose this church, we've lost a great chunk of the history, the culture that was first established on this island. From the time I was born and had sense enough to know a church, that church was great deal. We travel to an island in South Carolina where a historical church of St. James Parish finds itself on the verge of being eliminated by the expansion of a nearby airport's runway being funded by the FAA. What makes this historical church so remarkable is that St. James belongs to the first community of freed slaves whose direct descendants still call the land home. These descendants, known as the Gullah, have been coming to St. James for over 129 years. All the way back to when the first freed slaves established their settlement. That history goes all the way back to that particular time and the, 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 the descendants of those individuals are here and all of their life through all of the families and through all of the generations uh, they are here and uh, they will lose uh, more than just the building. If they moved that church, I, I mean, I don't know how I would be But the first thing I, when I wake up in the morning, I look out and I see the church still standing there. I say, Lord, I say, thank you. The Buford County Council pushing for the airport expansion have varied on their explanations as to why the airport is necessary. Economic justifications have been debunked by local citizens and economic professors. Indeed, the airport itself mainly serves private planes, not commercial. The only major airline to frequent the island has maintained it does not need an extended runway to operate. If the runway, however, is expanded, the church will find itself in the crash zone barrier and will likely be condemned. The church itself sits on historical and hallowed ground without precedent. Recently, an excavation of where the runway would be expanded unearthed thousands of invaluable historical items. Yet none of them are as important to the Gullah people themselves as their actual church, St. James. This church has been a bastion for this community. Once this church is moved, this whole community is condemned. So I don't know why they want to move the church, you know. They got the plane over there, so then use what they have for what they need. We are hoping and praying, and you know, we have faith in God that if we can get this on a scale with others see what we're going through, uh, that someone out there will, will, will help us and do something to intervene in our situations. You know, uh, we have the right liberty, pursuit of happiness, and the right to worship. To do your part, call the FAA immediately and tell them to save St. James Church in Hilton Head Island, South Carolina.